welcome back to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will find out which programming language to learn first. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. In today's agenda, we'll be taking a look at Python, C, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, and finally we'll have a look at the conclusion. Python. Python is immensely popular and one of the most highly demanded programming languages in the world. Whether it is data science, big data, or be it coding and app development, Python finds the applications everywhere. That's how versatile it is. The language has become so popular in recent times that students are flocking to learn the language and acquire Python programming skills. Python has very simple syntax. It has such a simple syntax that it almost resembles English and the high readability factor makes it a beginner friendly language. Naturally, the learning curve of Python is way shorter than that of any other programming language like Java, C, C++, etc. Moreover, Python lets you head straight to your programming part without worrying about the documentation. This is why Python is widely used in both development and data science fields for web development, text processing, data analysis and statistical analysis among other things. No other language can boast as many useful libraries as Python. The programming language comes with an assortment of libraries that come in handy for development and data science tasks. Uh, some of these uh, libraries include NumPy, SkyPy, Scikit-Learning, Matplotlib, Pandas, StatModels, and so on. Thanks to the vast collection and the inclusion of libraries over the years, Python's functionalities and capabilities have significantly multiplied. Python boasts a dynamic and well-knit community that you can rely on. In case of any coding related or data science issues, you can always seek help from the Python community. Since it is an open source language, every day new progress is being made in the community. Developers and coders regularly contribute to the enriching the language by developing new tools and libraries. If you have Python skills, you can demand high salaries in the industry. Since Python rules the development and data science fields at present, it promises a high growth graph with huge salary prospects. Let's move on to C. C is not specialized to any particular area of application and is quite general, which makes it suitable for learning the fundamentals of computer programming. It helps you understand the fundamentals of computer theories. Theories include computer networks, com compiler design, computer architecture, operating systems, etc. These concepts are based on C programming language and require a very good knowledge of C programming if you are to work on them. C is very fast in terms of execution times. Programs written in C and compiled in C executes much faster than compared to any other programming language. C is extensively used in embedded programming. Embedded programming is also referred to as microcontroller programming where C programming is used to control microcontrollers. Modern operating systems are written in C. So, if you are interested in operating systems, then learning C is completely a must. Now, let's take a look at some of the famous projects where C programming is used still today. Google. Google uses C code mostly for their backend programming. Same is done with YouTube as well. Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows' kernel is developed mostly in C with some parts in assembly language. Linux. Linux is also written in C with some parts in assembly. Mac. Mac computers are powered by C since OS X kernel is written mostly in C. Every program and driver in a Mac as in Windows and Linux computers is running on a C powered kernel. Mobile OS, Android and Windows phone kernels are also written in C. Tesla. Tesla's computers are tested in Python and then translated to C for faster execution time. SpaceX does this as well. Java Java is one of the most popular languages in the world. It is used by some 9 million developers and runs on around 7 billion devices worldwide according to Oracle blogs. Because of the high demand of Java, Java developers are also quite sought after and hence they hold some of the highest paying jobs in the industry. Learning Java in 2021 will allow you to work in legacy projects efficiently and very easily because the object oriented approach will allow you to understand code very easily. Just a quick info guys. 
IntelliPad provides online training on top trending programming languages, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below. Now, let's continue with the session. Java has an abundant application programming interface, API, that includes many Java classes, packages, interfaces, etc. This is useful for constructing applications without necessarily knowing their inside implementations. Open source libraries have resources that can be copied, studied, changed, shared, etc. There are multiple open source libraries in Java such as jhipster, maven, google, gova, apache commons, etc. that can be used to make Java development easier, cheaper and of course faster. There are many integrated development environments IDEs in Java that provide various facilities for software development to programmers. Powerful Java IDEs such as Eclipse, NetBeans, IntelliJ, IDEA, etc. play a huge role in the success of Java. The documentation support for Java is excellent using JavaDoc which is the document generator for Java. It uses the Java source code to generate the API documentation in HTML format. So JavaDoc provides a great reference for coding in Java so that the understanding the code is quite simple. JavaScript JavaScript is a programming language which makes websites interactive. If you think about the basic makeup of a website, you have the HTML which describes and defines the basic content and structure of the website. Then you have CSS which tells browser how the how this HTML content should always be displayed, determining things like color and font. Nowadays, JavaScript is an all-purpose programming language, meaning it runs across the entire software slack. The most popular application of it is on the client side, that is the front end. But since Node.js came on the scene, many people run JavaScript on the server side as well. As long as people are interacting with the web, you can assume that JavaScript is highly relevant. According to DevSkiller IT Skills and Hiring Report 2020, 72% of the companies are looking to hire for JavaScript experts. Just enter the term JavaScript on uh, job site Indeed and you'll find over 40,000 jobs required for this skill. And on uh, LinkedIn, if you search for the same uh, search string, the job results will be in excess of 125,000. Now let's move on to Ruby. Ruby as we all know is not the most popular programming language which is why people do not write and talk about it as often as other well-known languages like uh, Python. It does not mean that this is inferior or uh, suitable for low quality technology only. The Ruby programming language is generally considered to be a niche one. There is some truth in such statements. This is not a first choice language but the fact remains it has many supporters as can be seen in the graph below prepared by stack overflow the interest in this programming language in the last six years remain at a comparable level as the fluctuations are very small ruby has its own loyal supporters who value such features as the relatively low entry threshold for the developer higher programming comfort and possibility of a much shorter product development time this uh, product development time is called as MVP. So Ruby has its loyal supporters who value such features as the relatively low entry threshold for the developer, higher programming comfort and the possibility of a much shorter product development time. This product development time is called as also called as MVP. Ruby on Rails is an open source software used to build web applications. Rails is a framework used to create websites using the general purpose programming language Ruby. Ruby ranks amongst the top 10 programming languages predominantly because of Ruby on Rails framework. Ruby will be a good choice for you if you're looking for a proven backend technology for planning and developing software products. Ruby is doing well and will not change in the coming years. Although it is not the most popular programming language, many people use it daily. In addition, it is regularly developed. Coming to the conclusion of today's life, after gaining insights from the information in this live, let me conclude as to which programming language you should choose to learn as your first programming language. So if you're looking for something easy to start with, you can go for Python. If you want a solid foundation to make you a master developer, you, sh you need to have a solid background of C language. So you need to go for C. If you're looking for a job or want to make mobile apps, you can go for Java. But let me tell you, Java is not easy to begin with. 
but since it has a large job openings you can go with java if you want to try front end development you should always start with javascript if you're programming for your startup's website then learning ruby will be a good choice and especially learning the framework ruby on rails just a quick info guys very soon we are coming up with python full course live session taught by top industry experts do subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon to get notification thanks for watching